this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Let's try and find a way to get out of this place before they call the police or something for murdering the head guy around here. Oh, that should be easy. Well, or not. Give me a break! Can you, uh, um, you can't make the jumps now, can you? That's... Any of you guys remember the ice dungeon from Ocarina of Time? <laughs> it's ice dungeon time! Well, okay, it's more like a mini dungeon in Ocarina of Time. But this is kind of a mini dungeon, too. We got ice block puzzlery! Yeah! Actually, I really like ice puzzles. Or ice block puzzles. And ice dungeons in general. So, I love this stuff. But apparently a lot of you guys don't. Oh, well. But anyway, yeah, you take the sphere from the pet glyph sphere from the pedestal, put it over here, and you push it north, and voila, you reveal a secret passage. So let's go down there after that. Yeah, I like these puzzles myself. It's just the plot that I'm not fond of. But everything else about the game is great, so... But anyway, you take the Glyph Sphere back, put it over here, and... Voila! Okay, so we got that there, and... Okay, we gotta go back up here to get that sphere that we just revealed there. Thought I kinda saw something in the wall there, but I wasn't quite sure how to grab it. Get it out of there, or whatever. So basically, the trick to this puzzle is we just... Uh, rotate all these Macalania spheres around until we get the dungeon to do what we want. So, take that one, put it here, push it to the east, and voila. Okay, part one done. The sort of chorus in the background kind of has a Super Metroid vibe to it. At least, to me, it kind of does. Okay, uh, let's see. We want to grab this sphere. And... Did that do anything? Hmm. Nah, I wouldn't worry about it. Seriously, I, I wouldn't worry about it right now. But anyway, yeah. Take that sphere. Put it down here. Okay. Two down, one to go. Ah. Oh, this one's easy. We'll be done with this one in no time. But anyway, you go up here, and let's see, we, oh, went too far. We have the, uh, Macalania Sphere. It's kind of hard for me to tell where I'm directing Titus, because I'm looking at my notes on my side computer here, while I'm trying to direct Titus on my monitor straight in front of me, so I'm kind of looking back and forth, back and forth and everything. But, okay! Well, that was easy. Oh, and it's not over yet, viewers. Not by a long shot. Oh, no. Okay, so. Hmm, what the glyph does? Hmm. Well, let's find out. Step on this one. Aha, a new pedestal. Awesome. Let's grab this sphere. And uh, if I can, I'd like to push the pedestal down there. There we go. You push down there. Ends up on the cliff. Whoa! And now we get... Well, looks like a destruction sphere. Kind of. Hmm. Well, let's go check it out. Okay, so anyway, what I want to do is put this sphere over here. Not sure what that's going to do. Nothing! Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's see. We want to take this sphere back. So... Yeah, we gotta activate all three pillars, then we gotta deactivate all of them in order to get the treasure from this area. And in all honesty, it's not really that good, but it does unlock an Aeon later on in the game, so. Okay, so we got that one. Now we wanna push, put this one over here. So yeah, we just kinda switch these things around all day. And let's see, I think there's a flashing panel around here. Uh... Hmm. Oh, there it is. Couldn't quite see it. Yeah, you do that. It brings a pillar back here. So, okay. If I can... Or, do I just push this one? No, no, I, I want to pick up the sphere if I can. 
I'm trying to pick up the sphere without actually pushing it, so I don't, like, lock myself out of solving the puzzle. I mean, I could always just reset it anyway, but... Anyway, take the destruction sphere, put it over here... This... Ah! I wish I could shovel snow like that, but I can't. I can't shovel snow with my mind. Not yet, anyway. But I'm working on it. Okay, we're almost done with this place. Now we just gotta uh, get the bridges back up where we want them to be. Okay, so, let's see. Oh, yeah, we go up here. Okay, so, yeah, basically we just pretty much do what we uh, did before. I think the puzzles are almost exactly as they were before. Okay, so anyway, we want to do that. And I think we put this back in here to make the ice blocks appear again. Because otherwise, the pedestal will just keep going until it hits a wall or something. And we won't be able to get it to go where we want to go. Okay, so we did that. Put it into the east wall. And now we want to get the pedestal downstairs, if I can. And it's about the only thing I don't like about this puzzle. It, does, it is a little tricky to get right on top of the pedestal, right where you want it to be. If I can... Yep. Okay, so that'll take it back downstairs. Okay, well, we don't need to worry about those ice blocks again, so we can take this one out. Yeah, that's what all, that's all this one does. It just makes the ice blocks, or ice, uh... Stalagmites. Whatever the ones on the floor are called. I'm pretty sure those are stalagmites. Like the G is for ground and stalactite is C for stealing. Or ceiling. Stealing the ceiling. We're stealing it back. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so we did that. Push that east. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh. Oh, well, we already got that one. So we can just leave that there. And then if we do that... Yeah, we don't need to go downstairs anymore. Now we can just make the bridge the way we had it before. And I think that'll do it again. Did it work? Okay, I think that should do it. We should be able to get out of here. Hopefully, you know, we can... Or ma masters of Disguise, we can just... Kind of sneak our way out of here. How are we doing, anyway? Uh, let's get my party set up the way I want it to be. Let's go like that, I think. Or... Eh, it doesn't matter positioning, really. I, it's just my personal preference. Okay, and Waka, yeah, you're slower than everyone else, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, well, we made it. Let's uh, let's just get out of here then. Uh oh. Please. That's. Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Oh. Mm. I didn't think you'd be so understanding. Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. So? You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. Uh, but wait, he's kind of dead. Just go sphere. We can show it to them. You mean this? Oh. Hey. That's the Guado. Take care of Guado affairs. Oh wait. Yeah. What are you guys Run. gonna do to us anyway? Okay. Well, now we get the uh, escape sequence time. Man, this game really is Super Metroid. Oh, uh, yeah, I might want to uh, save. I do not want to have to redo that puzzle again. Not that it wasn't enjoyable. I just don't want to do it again for the next, like, 20 hours of the game or so. Q's really done it now. Want to buy something just in case? Haha. Uh -huh. uh, sure, why not? Let's see what you got. Oh, you just have, like, stuff. Yeah, not nine need. Okay. Uh, yeah, you might want to start running, Pierce. Fortunately, I do not. I am not using a Nintendo 64 controller for this, so hopefully my thumb will not fall off while I'm trying to uh, escape from these guys. 
Eventually, though, they will catch up with you, no matter what you do. I mean, you'll be able to fight them, but well, you'll see. Oh, man. Usually I only get... I, it, I can only escape with, with, like, one or two fights. Or, well, only two fights. Not one. I might be able to get out of here with just one. Uh-oh. Nice. Well, I can take care of these guys reasonably easy enough. Um, let's see. Let's do that. Ha! And let's see. Let's bring in Oran to take care of that guy. I hope this guy won't, like, summon more. That, that would be bad. But yeah, steal his high potion so that way he can't, uh, do a whole lot there. And we'll just bring you guys in for your participation credits. These guys do give pretty good experience. I think these guys are pretty much the same as the ones that we fought Seymour with. Or fought... Whatever. Please don't summon more monsters. Thank you. Yeah, these guys can kind of cast all the elements. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, uh, when you fight Seymour, he casts elements in a particular sequence there. And, uh, well, I'll be honest, I did not know that. I usually just kill him before that becomes a potential problem. But, all right, got him. Oh, I guess these guys are, well, I don't know. Are they different? Eh, whatever. But anyway, keep on going. Can I make it? Come on. Yeah! Wow, I'm surprised I made it out of there with only one fight. Hmm, I wonder if that's different from the PSP version. Well, anyway, okay. So anyway, yeah, escaping from here, pretty much exactly the same as before. Except, uh, well, yeah, uh, the Guado guys, they're not going to be following us for a little while. So, uh, yeah, it's just random battles from here on out. And I've already gotten the treasure on the way back, so. I wonder what they did with Seymour's body, anyway. I mean, you would think that they would be worried about him becoming a fiend or something, since he never got sent. Then again, Jiskel was never sent, and uh, well, that worked out well for them. Okay, so we made it to the safe sphere here. Let's uh, make some preparations. Okay, first things first, uh, let's go with... I'll just go with my standard starting party here. And let's see... Okay, I want to use... Or, well, let's get some sphere levels while we're at it, before uh, moving on here. There's a very good reason why I want to do that. Uh, let's see, go for more of that. And while I'm doing this, I will see if I can look up if the boss has anything interesting to steal there. I don't think I have that listed in my database, so I might have to actually look it up. Eh, whatever. Ooh, nice. Uh, ah, okay, so we got agility. And more strength, so that'll be good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got plenty of this. So might as well burn it now. Good thing we got armor break just in time, too. Get a little more MT. And... Okay, now we want to backtrack a little bit. No reason to go down there. Okay, I think we're all set and ready to go. Uh, if I can use the save sphere. Thank you. And... Okay, yeah, let's, uh, save it. There we are. Okay, let's get out of here, then. Of course, the Val is kind of right behind us. And those guys are where all the maesters are. Hmm. Well, I'm sure everything will work out for us. Uh-oh. These guys are still on our tail? Nuts. Well, well, I'll get on your tail then. For boss time. Okay, first things first. Uh, let's see. With these guys. Let's see. We got a couple of these get Guado Guardians. Oh, yeah. I guess the scan tells or sensor tells us to uh, steal from them. But anyway, yeah. The real boss is the Wendigo there. Uh, let's see. As far as stealing goes. 
Okay, uh, well, you can get a high potion or maybe a rare potion from him. So, eh, nothing I really care about. Okay, let's see what to do then. Uh, let's see. Well, I want to get blind on him eventually. Uh, you know what? First things first, let's get sleep on him. Waka, work your magic. Uh, if you can. You put him to sleep. Or not. Okay. Uh, do I have enough sleep grenades? Sleeping powder? That will get the job done. Battle guards are immune to sleep, but not really worried about that. Yeah, just let them heal up. Don't even worry about them. And then the next thing to do is to kill those guards. So let's go do that. Let's see, there's good black magic. Yeah, let's kill the other guard first since he's got a turn coming up. Now normally, what these guards do... Ah. Yeah, normally, when they die, they're going to cast some buffs on the actual boss there. You want to watch out for that. But, I have a little trick up my sleeve for this guy. Kill those two guys, that way they can't attack us. So yeah, there's basically two ways to go about this fight. Kill them and deal with his buffs, or kill the boss first, but then you're going to take a whole lot more damage from the Guado Guards as they pile magic on you. So, let's see what I got here. Okay, uh, I still want to get armor break, power break, and blind on him. But before we do that, let's get rid of those debuffs there. How do you say? But H.C. Bailey, we don't have any items that can dispel. Or, or we don't have the dispel magic at this point in the game. Or whatever shall we do? Well, there's a little trick someone told me on my forums here. Arrow Spark. It basically dispels everything we care about. So, yeah, you kill the guards, you don't have to worry about them attacking you, and it you can use that to get rid of all of his buffs. So, yeah, that... Oh, uh, let's see. So, yeah, he's not berserk, so... Okay, we're done here. Let's uh, dismiss. Thank you, Ixion. You uh, did your job well without dying. So, that'll make life a lot easier. You know, I could use Oron's Overdrive to uh, inflict all all those statuses and I think that's what I'm gonna do I may want to use Yuna again later so let's see what I can do here okay Oron let's go with uh, Banishing Blade I don't think I almost ever use this but it might be a good idea we'll find out today okay hold on gotta be quiet here whew barely got that in so he spits sake, or beer, or whatever that is, on his sword. And does all that to the boss. And so now he's got all the breaks on him. Yeah, that'll be really nice. That'll make life a lot easier. Okay, Waka. Uh, let's see, we want to get uh, darkness on him. Hmm. Yeah, we should be fine. A little less accuracy, but I don't think his yeah resistance is that good. And he still hits me anyway. Thanks. Thanks, game. Uh, let's see. And the rest should be relatively easy. Yeah, we'll just uh, bring in Kamari and Lulu. I'm not even going to bother using Focus because we've got this guy so hosed with debuffs. He really shouldn't be able to do a whole lot to us anymore. So yeah, that's basically the trick to this fight. Get rid of the Guado Guards. Dispel the buffs they put on him. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's going to, like counterattack if we do stuff. Um, you know, let's just defend for a little while. Oh, he's probably gonna counterattack no matter what I do. Whatever. Okay, I'll just move on then. I thought maybe if I waited long enough, he might drop his guard or something. Or, maybe he only counters physical attacks. Hmm. I usually don't worry about that, so uh, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, okay, uh, Titus, did you do anything? I don't think you did. I want you to get your participation credits. Okay, well, as long as he's got his uh, guard up there, we'll just keep on pummeling him with spells, I guess. Oh, you know, you could get uh, haste on everyone. Let's see, Yuna, she did summon. Riku used the grenade. Waka and Oran. Okay, everyone's gotten their turns now. So, uh, yeah, let's bring in Kamari a little more. 
speed there. And I don't really need to worry about overkilling this guy, because in order to do that, you gotta finish him with uh, 1,432 damage, which I am well above. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. Maybe bring in, you know, if I need a little bit of healing. I don't think everyone did next, quite. Or we could just kill the guy. Why not? So, yeah, once he goes into that defensive mode, just pummel him with magic. So, yeah, what is it? Like three bosses in a row? Well, maybe not three, but... Three out of the last four bosses that I've used a lot of magic on? Yeah, three out of the last four. So, yeah. Yeah, I like having multiple ma black magic users. Oh, nuts. I'm reminded of the uh, 2003 King Arthur movie, or whatever year that one came out. The one that came out last the last decade or whatever, where the guy took his axe and destroyed that whole lake. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> but where did we end up? Praise be to Yevon. That's what I would have said if I was a follower of Yevon. And I would be being sarcastic. We were all there, and in one piece. Even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next. Shouldn't we be, like, freezing to death in the water? And what? Where are we, anyway? How do we get out of here? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!